السلام علیکم دس از ڈاکٹر فراز احمد سر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا سیمن اسٹیشن آف بفور دیٹ لیٹ می ٹیل یو سم پیپل آر کنفیوز ریگارڈنگ دا اپروچ وچ آئی ایم ڈسکسنگ ان مائی ویڈیوز آف دا سیمن سو دس از دا بیسٹ اپروچ دس از دا اپروچ آف دا بی ایل ایس کورس اینڈ دا این ایچ ایس ہاسپٹل سو پلیز ود آؤٹ اینی وریز فالو دس اپروچ سو لیٹس ڈسکس دا اسٹیشن کیپنگ ان مائنڈ دا اپروچ وچ از دا بیسٹ اپروچ انٹر ان ٹو دا روم اینڈ دیر ول بی اے نرس دیر ول بی اے سیم مین اینڈ دیر ول بی این ایگزامنر سو فرسٹ آف آل یو ول انٹروڈیوس یور سیلف ود ایگزامنر لائک یو کین انٹروڈیوس ہیلو دس از ڈاکٹر احمد جی ایم سی نمبر اے بی سی ڈی سو دس از اینڈ ود دا ایگزامنر دیر از نو نیڈ ٹو وربلائز اینی تھنگ ایکسیپٹ دا انٹروڈکشن ود دا ایگزامنر گو ٹو یور پیشنٹ یور پیشنٹ از دا سیم مین اینڈ اسٹارٹ ڈسکشن اوکے بٹ بفور اسٹارٹنگ دا ڈسکشن یو ہیو ٹو پروو دیٹ یو آر اے سیف ڈاکٹر اینڈ یو آر مینٹیننگ دا پرائیویسی سو ٹو پروو دیٹ یو آر اے سیف ڈاکٹر یو ول وربلائز لاؤڈلی ایگزامنر ایز یو مائی ہیو ٹیکن آل دا یونیورسل پریکاشن سو یو ہیو پروو دیٹ یو آر اے سیف ڈاکٹر سو آفٹر ڈوئنگ دس یو ول انٹروڈیوس یور سیلف اف دیر از اے نرس یو ول انٹروڈیوس یور سیلف ود اے نرس اف دیر از اے پیشنٹ اونلی اف دیر از سیم مین از اے لون دیر یو ول انٹروڈیوس ود اے سیم مین okay so how you will introduce yourself you will loudly say hello my name is ahmad one of the doctor at this department could you please confirm your full name and age for me if there is nurse nurse will introduce herself and nurse will introduce the patient if patient is alone patient will introduce uh, his self all right so after this you will ask either there is a nurse either there is only a patient you will ask uh, please tell me what happened to you then nurse or patient will tell you a story like nurse can say doctor she is 35 year old she is multi gravida she delivered her fifth or fourth baby today one hour back and since then she is bleeding so then you will ask when did it start how did it start what was the mode of delivery any instrumentation used any tear have the patient deliver after birth and you will ask about the mma and smoker cuff so when did it start how did it start mode of delivery instrumentation any vaginal tear delivery of the placenta after birth and mma m mean medical condition or any bleeding disorder second m mean medication uh, our patient was using any blood thinner medication and a mean allergy you have to ask these question in the postpartum hemorrhage station these questions are very very important please don't forget these questions so after asking these question you will now loudly say to the patient julia i am going to start my assessment and this assessment will include look feel tab and listen please memorize look feel tab listen look feel tab listen don't forget this listen to different part of your body please be assured a chaperone is with me and we are maintaining your privacy so now you have maintained the safety and you have maintained the privacy okay so what happen in the real life you are supposed to attach monitor with the patient but in the examiner patient will be attached to the monitor and what you have to do you have to just look at the monitor and you have to acknowledge this how you will acknowledge i can see my patient is attached to the monitor and now i am going to start a to e approach or you can say i am going to start a b c d e approach so you will start the a b c d e approach and the first step in the a b c d e approach is the airway as the patient is bleeding from the front passage and in most of the cases of the postpartum hemorrhage station uh, airway will be the patent so you will say that i can see that my patient is talking to me so i assume that the airway is patent okay you will look at the oxygen unfortunately if oxygen saturation is low you will attach 100% of oxygen via non rebreather mask if oxygen saturation is normal you will directly move on to the next so what is next next is the breathing there is no need to complete all the steps of breathing okay as there is no need for uh, you know uh, inspection percussion and palpation so you will just do what you will say julie i am going to listen to your chest and after listening to the chest after auscultating the chest you will say i am going to order chest x-ray ecg and abg so the most important part in postpartum hemorrhage cement station is the circulation and your main focus should be on circulation 
because patient is bleeding and there are more than 100% chances that patient blood pressure will be low. So you will say, Julia, I am going to pinch your finger, take your blood, uh, blood pressure and the pulse. And after this, you will look at the uh, monitor and you will verbalize loudly. I can see that blood pressure of my patient is low and pulse is high. So I am going to insert two large bore IV cannulas into the arm of my patient and I will take the blood for the investigations as well. So here examiner can ask you and if examiner don't ask you, you have to verbalize that I am going to send blood for these investigation. Investigation include blood group, cross matching, routine blood investigation, iron studies, clotting profile, kidney function and liver function tests. Okay, and you will request six unit of O negative bloods and six FFPs at the same time as well. So if the blood is low and you don't have the blood at this time, blood pressure is low, but you don't have the blood at this time, what you will do definitely you will give the fluid. Okay, so after giving the fluid, we will directly move toward the our next step that is deformity D. In the D, you have to just check what you have to check the blood sugar and the temperature. So after checking this, after verbalizing this, you will again reassess the blood pressure. So now our pressure is improved. That's okay. If blood pressure is not improved, examiner will give you the examiner will say assume doctor six unit of the bloods are arranged. So now, now what you will do, you will say that now I am going to attach the O negative blood two units two ml per minute so please please remember these two i will attach two units of blood two ml per minute okay you have to verbalize this so after doing this the important part is the exposure because patient is bleeding from the front passage so along with the circulation e is also an important part in uh, this postpartum cement station so here you will say julia i am going to expose your tummy and check your tummy you will be checking the tummy you have to check if there is uterine attorney or not okay then after doing this you will uh, say julia no i am going to expose your private area and you have to see the private area for any bleeding and you will see that it will be bleeding you loudly say i can see that my patient is bleeding from the front passage and i am going to insert urinary catheter at the same time and insert the urinary catheter to check the urine output so now what you have to do you have checked the tummy and there you have noticed that uh, uterus is palpable now you will start the uterine massage and you will give the injection oxytocin 10 units iv stat okay injection oxytocin 10 unit iv stat you have to verbalize and you will start the uterine massage so at this time examiner will start discussion with you examiner will ask you the question okay so exam if uh, examiner will say assume doctor patient is stable now so what you will do now you will explain the situation with the patient and you will say that i am going to admit her and please mention this that i will involve my senior for what our examiner say that for what you are going to involve the senior our examiner can ask you the question in another way doctor with the uterine massage and oxytocin bleeding is not resolved and uh, your uterus is not delivering what you will do you will say uh, examiner i can give ergotamine and transamine with senior consultation you have to mention this okay after this examiner can ask you some other questions these questions you have to memorize this as per this scenario or as per this later okay examiner can ask that please tell me the causes of postpartum hemorrhage and what to do next if bleeding is not getting resolved with uterine massage oxytocin ergotamine and transamic what you will do you will verbalize you have to memorize these seven steps like you will say i will do by manual compression if not resolved then i will do uh, balloon tamponade not resolved hemostatic suturing not resolved bilateral ligation of uterine artery not resolved ovarian artery ligation not resolved internal ileic artery ligation still not resolved we will do hysterectomy so you have to memorize this box this is very very important you have to memorize this so in this way this station can come in the exam and you have to do these these things 
so let's me repeat one thing again that most important step in the postpartum hemorrhage cement station is circulation and exposure okay thank you very much